Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Brooke Lennington. And I'm Jace Mills. Investigators say the Las Vegas shooter fitted some of his guns with bum stocks, turning those guns into automatic weapons. KSNT News reporter Molly Pat visited a local gun shop to learn how they work and how available they are where we live. The gunsmith here at Flint Hills Gun Shop says he has never carried bump stocks and never will. He says if someone comes to his store and wants one installed on their gun, they'll have to find it somewhere else. To me, I carry things that I know work that are going to enhance the value of the gun. This is not one of the items that really made anything better. If anything, it made it worse. A bump stock is an accessory that turns a semi-automatic gun into an illegal automatic gun. You know, go right here. Right now, I mean, this is a semi-automatic, which means it will fire every time you pull the trigger. A bump stock provides an action that allows you to hold the trigger down. Many gun shops say the bump stock is like an expensive toy. You've spent $12 in three seconds, you know, having a blast hitting a target or whatever, but, you know, they're not very accurate. The accuracy goes away real fast. You can't, you can't control where the shots are going. John Mikey says bump stocks have been selling for around $100, but lately he's seen them going for up to $800. It's kind of a fad, you know, there you see fads in all, all kinds of industries, and that's kind of what this was. All the gun shop owners I talk to say the bump stock is not a normal gun accessory. Other local gun shop owners say if bump stocks go off the market and do become illegal, it won't bother them. In Manhattan, Molly Pat, KSNG News. The National Rifle Association says it supports a review of bump stock devices. And two Kansas lawmakers, Congresswoman Lynn Jenkins and Congressman Kevin Yoder, say they're open to a ban on bump stocks.